this summer, I don't know what I'm going to call it, easy summer makeup look. It's definitely ugh, super easy. It takes me literally 5 to 10 minutes in the morning, depending on how picky I'm being that day. But it's easy and I've literally had no time to even breathe this week. I've been so busy. So this really, oh, I love this look for that reason. It's so easy. It's, I didn't put on foundation because that's way too heavy. Um, plus I'm super tan so my, and my skin looks semi great. But this is the look. Um, super easy. Like I said, takes five to ten minutes and it's super glowy. Can we see this highlight? Can we just acknowledge that highlight? Can you guess what it is? Champagne pop. I love it. It's my favorite. Best highlight I've ever used in my life. Hands down. Go Jaclyn Hill. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoy. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Bye. To start this look, I started off with doing my eyebrows. I used the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I skipped my brows because they're just brows and you've seen me do them many times before. I didn't change my brow routine, so you already know what that looks like. The second thing I'm going to use is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. And I'm going to put that all over my face, but I've already done that. And then for my areas that are a little pore concerning, I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. And then we get to the state at which I'm at. Now, because I have a few little places that I want to cover up, I'm going to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Honey. And I'm going to pop that right where it, uh, um, <laughs> and I'm going to pop that right on the areas that I want to cover up. I like to blend this out with the same brush I use for my foundation just because it's easier. And I'm really too lazy to go try and wet in my beauty blender. I haven't been wearing concealer under the eyes either just because I haven't really feel like I felt like I needed to. I am, however, going to put a little bit today. But not a lot because I don't want like super creasage. And that's one of the problem. Like if you don't set this, or if you don't set, if I don't set my concealer, it creases. And I don't really. With this look, I haven't been wearing any powder except for a bronzer and a highlight. Okay, now that the concealing is done, I am going to bronze. I am using, I am using Hoola by Benefit and the Round Dome it's not dome, but it's just around Sonia Keshik brush number 29. I love this brush. It is a blush brush, I believe, but I like using it for bronzer. So I'll swirl that around in there, I dab off the excess, and I'm going to start on my forehead. And bronze up the face. I'm not going to put so much on my cheeks as I will on the rest of the perimeter of my face. Now I don't know how well this bronzer is going to show up on my tan skin <laughs> because it's not that deep of a bronzer, but I'm already tan, 
So it's just for that warm kiss. If you can hear water, that's because someone is now taking a shower. Over the past week, I have not been contouring my face. I haven't had the time or the patience to, but I will always contour my nose. So I am taking Fawn from the Anastasia Beverly Hills kit and sculpting out my nose. Because I have to. Just throw in crap all over the place. And then I'll take the banana shade on my finger and run that down the center of my nose just for a little bit of extra highlight and because I put concealer on I'm gonna take a little bit of it on a Sigma tapered face brush and set underneath my eyes now that is something that I haven't done this is the most natural look I think I've ever done in my life Okay, and then I'm going to take my favorite blush at the moment, which is this one, Damselfly from Becca, and pop that on my cheeks. This look literally takes me t maybe 10 minutes. And that's the blush and next part is my favorite part ever uh, because I got this Wednesday got it Wednesday um, can you guess what it is everybody and their mama has it champagne pop by Becca collaboration with Jaclyn Hill um, this stuff I, the most intense highlighter I have right now is the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. And honestly, this doesn't even compare to the highlight that this gives. It's cray. And my highlight is always on fleek. <laughs> okay, so I put that on my cheekbones. See that? Oh. What is life? What is life? I bought this. I, well, I ordered it the day it came out. And it set a record on Sephora. So I do it on the bridge, or the very tip of the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and on my cheekbones. Next is I'm going to do my mascara. I have to wear mascara because um, I just can't. I like mascara too much and I think it I'd look super weird without it. After I've curled my lashes, I am going to, of course, pop on mascara. I am using the Benefit Roller Lash. What a shock. And I'm going to coat my lashes. Lashes always take the longest for me <laughs> because I put on a lot of it. And I'm very particular about it and I really take my time. Because if my lashes don't look good, my day is off. Okay, and then sometimes um, I'll just leave it like this, uh, but then other times I will take 
the L'Oreal Silk Kiss Me Liner and line my bottom waterline. And then, even though there's not a lot of makeup on, I'm still going to set it anyways uh, with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. And then I don't wear any lip products, but chapstick. That's it. I have literally worn this look for six days in a row. I think that's the longest I've ever worn a makeup look. <laughs> but I love it so much and it's so easy. And when I have to get up at 6.30 in the morning, leave the house by 7.20 and then be in a gym all day till 4 and then work after that. It's a good look and it's reliable and it's easy.